Go to easymutt.com. Use code CUTE for 10% off right now. There's a link down below me buying coins step by step. Or you can even buy points now. The new technology. It's banned free. Stop gambling your money. All right, guys. We're back. Quarterback tier list. All these videos are on the channel. Check them out. Set your team right up the first time so you can save your coins. Up next, best team of month after that top 10 tight ends today. Let's go and get started, right? Joe Flacco, C tier. Why? He doesn't hit the pass and threshold for throw on the run. So he will miss throws on the run. Uh, also, he's missing abilities. He doesn't have the best release. Let's keep it moving here. Now, Andrew Luck has the best release in the game. He's going to be A tier. He gets the ball out just fine. He just doesn't get the best AP stack like a CJ Strout, and that's going to be the difference. But he's also not the most athletic guy. You say, well, he's fast enough, but he really can't like zigzag, get in and out, juke, and all that kind of stuff very well. Now, with that being said, we do have up next, guys, Tommy's going to be A tier, actually. This guy here actually gets pass the lead, lead, and he gets hot route for a discount. He's actually usable. Uh, is he the best? No. Does he have the best release? No. Is he athletic? No. So it depends on your scheme. If you want to run options and stuff like that, definitely not going to be your kind of guy there. Now, uh, you're saying, well, what about the 93 Vic? He's a great value, right? He's actually not. Uh, he doesn't have set feet lead. So you could put him a C tier if you want. I'll just leave him there because he's athletic and he does hit the thresholds to make the throws. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely going to be a pass right now. And so is Lamar. The guys, these guys are missing abilities. Please do not waste your coins and thinking you're saving coins because you have to sell a card and go get a card that's actually good enough to use. Please don't do that. Um, Derrick Henry, D tier. Bad abilities, bad release, bad everything. Keep it moving. Um, Drew Brees, one of the best to B tier. He does not get Howard Master with separately, so he doesn't have a good AP stack. And his release isn't the best and he's not athletic so he's gonna be a pass don't even worry about that card i would just keep it moving now jalen hurts b tier what's wrong with him his release and what's wrong with him he doesn't have the best ap stack he didn't get no crazy x factors like trust nothing like that you probably think lamar's s tier now he's not okay he doesn't get separately with the heart master so he doesn't just make your offense that much easier so keep that in mind, not having that stack, but he is amazing. Separately, with his release, you can abuse people with him. You can score 40 points with him. There's more than, you know, five good quarterbacks in the game. He's one of them, but you're going to be missing stuff like abilities like a Jordan Love, right? Jordan Love gets Hot Rock Master separate lead. Hot Rock Master, you can set up every route you want and how you want. So put your running back on a Texas route. If they're running man, stuff like that, it really does matter. This guy does make a huge difference. Please keep that in mind. And you know what? Tua gets the same thing. What's the difference between Tua and Love? Who should you pick up is who you should pick. Because why? Well, here's your answer. Love has a better release. So it does matter getting that ball out in the red zone faster. And it's all about timing. You throw the ball a half a second late. It's an incompletion. You throw it on time. It's there. So... Tua's release is like a D tier. Generic two is like the worst release in the game, but he has the AP stack that makes him relevant. You're just gonna have to really get used to his release. Of course, you have Gunslinger. And guys, when you put Gunslinger on, that does not mean he now has the Lamar's release. He does not. And so just keep that in mind. Up next, guys, we have Perry. Perry is gonna be A tier, just missing the AP stack, right? You wish he had the separate lead with Howard Master. He does not get that. He has the best release in the game. Him, Lamar, and Luck have all had the same release. If you're trying to decide the quarterback, maybe you needed to know that. And I will say he is going to be fast enough, yes. And he's going to be good enough, yes. There's more than just a couple good quarterbacks in the game. He's one of the good quarterbacks. Now, with that being said, Will Levis is going to be the best to beat here. He has a bad release, and he's missing abilities. So keep that in mind. And he's not the best runner, you think, because he's fast. He can't really juke or spin. So if you're trying to look for a runner, please stay away from him. Up next, Dobbs. Guys, Dobbs gets past lead elite. And some of you may think that's the same as Seppi Elite. It's not. Pass lead elite means you can actually be running and have the velocity on the ball as someone that does have Seppi Elite. And that's very valuable. If you're getting chased out of the pocket, say I'll just make up an example, a cornerback blitz and you're trying to get away and you can still have the velocity on the ball, that can save you a game and that can make a huge difference. So keep that in mind. 
uh, Josh Dobbs is going to be better than Love and Tua because he has a better ability. Now, Derek Carr, Derek Carr is not good. Uh, I would not waste your coins on him. Uh, his release is the worst in the game, generic too, and doesn't get separate lead with Howard Master or pass lead lead, nothing like that. He didn't get a good combo there. Keep that in mind. Same thing as Anthony Richardson. He he does not get a good combo. He doesn't get separate lead. He is fast, so you can use him, but he'll be a disadvantage because you don't have Howard Master and because his release. So I would not really worry about getting him right now. If I was you, now this Vic, I'm going to put him B tier. You probably think I'm crazy. And that's because, well, one, he didn't have pass lead elite. And two, I know they're not the same card. Lamar throws right handed, Vic throws left. But they're both fast, and Lamar has a better release. So I do want you guys to understand when you're looking at this, Lamar's definitely a better quarterback. Now, between Joe and Herbert, you're going to be on the same level here, guys. Uh, I will say Herbert has a better discount. He gets gift wrap for zero, so keep that in mind. But I do like Justin's release a little bit better. Are they just about the same? Yes, they get like the same, like everything, right? As far as like they get separate lead, but no hot rock master. They're both not super athletic. So yeah, they're, if you have one of them, it's probably time to upgrade because the other top end quarterbacks came down. And like Andrew Luck, if you're on a Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert level, I would go ahead and upgrade to an Andrew Luck. Patrick Mahomes is missing abilities, but you know what? He's still good. Uh, he's still good enough to use in this game. And he is still going to be a quarterback that can get the job done. He's just going to be missing abilities. He's not going to have the best release. But yeah, if you're on a budget and he's a budget beast, actually, he's actually going to be just fine. Just remember, you're going to be at disadvantage not having pass lead elite and you get rain out of the pocket. You're also gonna be a disadvantage not having hot rock mask. Now, Kyler's here and he does get set feet lead and he gets gunslinger for a discount, set feet lead for a discount. He doesn't get hot rock master with it. He doesn't get pass lead elite. Uh, his release isn't the best, like Lamar and Lux are better. Harry, of course, they'll have the same release. So let's keep in mind that Kyler, uh, you can use him, but he's definitely not the best. Now, Golf does get pass lead elite with hot rock master. So yeah, because of the abilities, he's going to be S tier, but his release is bad. Just keep that in mind. You put Gunslinger on him, it does not just fix everything. He does not have like a William Perry release. So keep that in mind. Now, Josh Allen doesn't get pass lead elite with Howard Master on, on his stack. You got to pick either or. So you can get like Howard Master separate lead, but you can get pass lead elite. So Goff's going to give you a little better abilities, but then Allen has a better release, so just keep that in mind. And then CJ Stroud, guys, is the best quarterback in the game, but his discounts, his stack, all that, his release is just fine. He's fast. Yeah, CJ Stroud is amazing. You're going to love him if you get him. It's going to make your offense so much easier. CJ Stroud is that guy. That was the quarterback tarot. Any quarterback not on this list, let me know down below, and I'll help you out. Stay tuned for the top 10 tight ends and the best team in Mutt. Have a good day. I'll see you soon. Go to Easy Mutt. Dot com right now guys points are 50% off with my codes an additional 10% off so go get your points save your money or go get the coins you can still just get the coins instead it's easy fast legit if you enjoy NBA 2k24 there's not a better deal than this go to safembamt.com link down below use code Q for 10% off right now 400 KBC is below $26 and how about this? If you enjoy FC24 and you want to save your money and get the players you want, go to u4gm.com. Use code CUTE for 10% off. I know you work hard for your money, so stop wasting your money. Go get the players you want. Go have the fun you want.